Hello everyone, let's see how to troubleshoot incompatible data types conversion in Power Center Designer. To start with, let's say that the integration service is capable of implicit data type conversion, although this is possible only between compatible data types. Because of this, our designer tool verifies that ports are compatible before linking them in a mapping, not only during validation, but also during the design phase. During our demo, we'll see how the string to timestamp conversion is not allowed for source target objects of type Sybase ASC. This conversion is uh, allowed for Sybase IQ tables, though. So, with Sybase IQ tables with the same uh, table definition, with the same data type timestamp. After the demo, we'll take a We'll dive a little bit more deeply into the Sybase's timestamp data type and the implicit date time to string conversion done by the integration service. The tools we are going to need for this demo, for this troubleshooting session, are the Power Center's GUI clients, DB GUI clients, and Windows ODBC Administrator 32 bit to import the table definition in Designer. Let's go straight into the demo. This is my scenario, so I've got Source table coming from Sybase IQ, target table coming from Sybase ASC. The table definition is exactly the same for both tables. So let's have a quick look at our GUI clients. Uh, so this is the definition for the mydates dot underscore IQ table. And so these are the column names, type names. Let's focus on the last one. This is timestamp position 8. Let's have a look at the mydates underscore IQ table. So the table definition is exactly the same and if we look at the theme, at the metadata, the table description, we'll see that this is the last one, timestamp null as a type timestamp and the precision is 8 again. So they look exactly the same if we look at their definition from both DB clients perspective. So, although if I try to get this data type converted for some reason into a string and then again into a timestamp data type, I'm not allowed to do it. And I'm not getting any error either, so I don't know what's happening here. So, this is the way I've approached this problem. I've created two different mappings. For the first one, source and target are coming from Sybase IQ. The second one, source and target are coming from Sybase ASC. There are no changes here, no implicit data conversion. I'm just taking everything by default. Uh, we can notice already that there are a few differences here. So in this case, um, Power Center is importing the first table coming from Sybase IQ, a type timestamp, and then when it comes to the source qualifier, the first transformation in the mapping, it's converted into date time, the precision is 29. If we look into my data ASC table from Sybase ASC, we'll see that Power Center imports it as a var binary data type, and then if we look into the source qualifier that var binary is translated into a binary data type. So why is this happening in the first place? Let's have a quick look at the um, designer guide. So here we can see, looking at the designer guide, some based on transformation data types for timestamp. So this, the first column is about the native data types for Sybase. So timestamp, 8 bytes as a binary data type timestamp for Sybase IQ, it's not binary, and it's transformed internally by Power Center into a date time data type. So this is the native data type coming from the database, and this is the definition from the database point of view, and then this is the, um, the way we, um, so the data type that we use internally in Power Center to deal with it. As you can see from 8 bytes to binary. So it looks like there is a difference between these two data types, even though they have the same name and from the DB client point of view, they look the same. 
there is a huge difference. One seems to be a binary data type, the other one is just a date, can, can be dealt with as a date time data type. So let's go back here and let's see if we can do something to, to get some kind of error that will allow us to, to actually do some, a little bit more research. So this is what I've done here. I got, I can, we, we can do this. So we can try to switch this um, field here from daytime to string. And in this case, we are forcing an implicit data conversion there. So if we save the mapping, the mapping is still valid. So this is fine. So we can go from timestamp daytime to string and again to timestamp within Sybase IQ. What happens if I try to do the same for Sybase ASC? Okay, this is not allowed. So the mapping is not valid anymore. So this connection here is not valid. So this there are this binary and string are incompatible data type. So let's try to remove this and let's see if it is fixed the issue. I know that this field is not connected probably for search to target. But anyway, we want to just try to understand what's the logic the designer is using under the hood. So let's uh, save this again and it's still invalid. So in this case, it says, okay, this is incompatible. The connection between string, the conversion from the connection between string and timestamp it's not valid either and if we get rid of this and save it eventually we get that this is a valid connection so with the errors we've seen in the um we've got from the validation process it's easy to you know search for those errors in the, our knowledge base and get additional information about it so without doing that um let's try to explain why this is happening so this is happening because if we look into the again the designer guide part two part data conversion we'll see that the date time data type we are speaking about power center internal data types here we are not speaking about the native the database native data type anymore data types anymore we are speaking about power center transformation data types so date time this is the data type to which we trans we we converted the timestamp coming from sybase iq can be converted to string yes the other timestamp coming from sybase asc is a binary data type so if we try to convert it to string that's not possible so that's the reason why I'm getting this error and that's the reason why I cannot make this connection in the first place okay um, so what can you say to conclude this um, video uh, we know that integration service as we said is able to implicitly convert strings to data time values and vice versa by passing the string to a date time port as long as the string is stored in the date format defined by the date time format string session property so we can have a quick look at this too so if we take a quick look at workflow manager we'll see that okay, this is the field i'm speaking about so the date time format string so that implicit date time or timestamp to string conversion happens implicitly if the date type, date time and timestamp are defined this way. So that's something we need to take into account if we want to work with date time to string implicit data conversion. And the designer is just doing its job so it's preventing a link between data types that the integration service wouldn't be able to convert so without that uh, th it's just preventing us from making mistakes and from having runtime errors and that's also these are the references the signer guide um, we can also have a look at the um, info center uh, the site based documentation which is here 
So the same Sybase documentation indicates that for Sybase ASC, we have a timestamp which is defined, which is implemented as a binary data type. There is additional information here about the, uh, the actual way this timestamp is used in ASC, but that's outside the scope of, of this video. But it's interesting because it's not something, it doesn't look like it's something that you can actually uh, modify. It's, it looks like something, it looks like a field which is uh, updated automatically every time you uh, try to make changes to a specific table. And I think that's all for today. So uh, if you have any feedback about this video, just let us know. You can either write to support videos at informatica.com or you can contact us on Twitter at InfoSupport. Thank you.